Ferrari is a new movie out in theaters, guys. Uh, it's directed by Michael Mann and stars Adam Driver, Penelope Cruz, and Shailene Woodley. Tells the story of Enzo Ferrari. Now, uh, guys, I said this in my straight out of the theater reaction. See how they open up there with uh, the driving cars and such. If you go into this thinking that you're going to watch like a high octane uh, racing movie, kind of like um, uh, a Ford V Ferrari uh, kind of thing like that, it's not like that. Uh, even like Gran Turismo, it's not like that either. There's a lot of family drama going on here in the background of him trying to balance his work life with his personal life. And he's got a lot of baggage in his personal life. Uh, so let's go over to the IMDb and I'll read you the synopsis. Set in the summer of 1957 with Enzo Ferrari, Auto Empire in crisis, the ex-racer turned entrepreneur pushes himself and his drivers to the edge as they launch into the Mille, 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 sorry, I forget. It's, a, it's just one of the big races, right? A treacherous 1,000 mile race across Italy. Yeah, so it goes into that of him trying to like uh, promote his um, his vehicles and stuff and, and racing and stuff like that. I liked all of that stuff, all of the behind the scenes stuff of like the business of side of it kind of thing of like, well, are we racing cars to sell cars or are we racing to win? What are you doing here, right? I liked all of that stuff. Uh, Michael Mann um, handled that brilliantly. Um, but as I said, there's there's a dramatic side to this kind of thing. Like, see, there's like the beautiful girls played by Sarah Gatt on there um, in the photo shoot with one of the young uh, drivers uh, who's dating like a movie star. And he's kind of like, well, are you holding the girl because you think she's beautiful? No. Uh, he moves the girl over because she's standing in front of the Ferrari emblem. And that's sort of like the mentality of what he is. He's all about like business and stuff. Now... This movie does have a lot of dramatic scenes in it, which uh, I think may attribute some people to say that this movie is a bit slow, that this movie is kind of like, ah, uh, I don't know if I like it. What that synopsis told you there on IMDb uh, is that uh, it, it left the, a storyline that's key where uh, Penelope Cruz uh, is his wife. And uh, he's had an affair with Shailene Woodley. Okay, we see that, we see that in the trailers, right? Uh, so there's there's a couple of scenes where she finds out about it and how deep his infidelity goes. And that scene is probably one of my favorite scenes in movies this year, uh, because a lot of that has to do with Adam Driver and uh, well, mostly Penelope Cruz, because her heart is breaking, right? That how could you go off with this other woman, Shailene Willie, and have this affair? But it's played in such a way where it's like, you see it from her side as well, you Shailene Woodley's side, and it's kind of like, I wouldn't if I knew this was going to happen, I wouldn't have I wouldn't have interfered interfered in a marriage before, kind of thing, right? So there's there's a battle, there's a turmoil going on there of how do we deal in with this situation, all against the backdrop of him racing cars and such, right? <laughs> so, yeah, uh, it's played well. And I, I actually, I was harsh on Adam Driver's performance when I first came out of the theater. Um, I said that he was a little bit like, uh, uh, Leonardo DiCaprio in Killers of the Flower Moon, where he, 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 Leo for Killers of the Flower Moon delivered a solid performance throughout the film. It was like, okay, I see, I see what you're doing there. And I saw that with uh, Adam Driver. Okay, I see that you're giving a solid performance. You, you've, you've, you've worked on how you're going to carry yourself. You've worked on how you're going to hold your face and stuff. Okay, I see that. You're giving a good performance. But I just, other than that one scene, I suppose, when he's like having it all out with his wife, like, okay, yeah, because the wife is part of his business, right? Um, they're, they're partners, right? So there's, there's, a, there's a lot of contention and a lot of tension going on in there that does work. And I will give him a pass. He, he's much better than Leo was in Killers of the Flower Moon. He, he does take it to another level, I think. Yeah, because there's that, it's like he cares about his wife. 
and, and he cares about the son that they lost. Uh, they don't talk about that, but the movie kind of opens with that. I was going to be really hard on this movie because this movie starts, you know, I usually like movies to start off with a big bang kind of thing, right? Kind of like, wow me, sell me this movie. Give me the tone of this movie. And it kind of opens with them talking to a wall. And you're like, who is that person? Why am I supposed to know who that person is? And then you find out that it was their son, right? Um, and it's kind of like, oh, okay, now I sort of see where this going. This is going. Uh, yeah, their son died. And he went out and had an affair with another woman. So, of course, she's going to be very upset. And if, and if you're not interested in any of that, and all you want to see is racing, then you're probably going to be like, I don't know if I like this movie because I just wanted to see the car development. I wanted to see the racing. But when I was watching it, it was like there's a metaphor going on there about the way that the racers are talking about each drive, each race that they go into. They're, they're like leaving notes for their loved ones. Kind of like, this is the last time that I could be. And, and the, when the, the accidents do happen, the one, this, this, this one that you see here, when that happens, uh, I don't think it'll show the aftermath. Um, that doesn't look great. But yeah, uh, it's horrific. And the fallout of that, what happens, is worth seeing in the theater. People gasped at what happened. Uh, and it's, other than like uh, that one shot that you see here, um, you're like, I paid money to watch this. This, this feels... This is this is terrible. This is an awful event that happened, and that's worked into the film really well for Michael Mann, because you care about the other drivers, you care about the team of drivers, uh, played uh, in this movie expertly by uh, the rest of the cast: uh, Derek Hill, um, Gabri Gabriel Leon. Yeah, he's that young driver that's dating the. The movie star he does good and you know who else is good in this as one of the drivers that i don't see listed here patrick dempsey patrick dempsey is uh in this movie and uh i want to pull him up because uh he plays kind of like the older um uh, more seasoned race car driver and i want to i wanted to i want to highlight uh him in this because uh it's like oh that's patrick dempsey um is he gonna do anything in this movie <laughs> but yeah no he's he's kind of like that older kind of guy that's kind of like okay guys we can we can we can put the metal to the to the floor kind of thing we can push it um but there's also other scenes where he comes out of the car and he's like enzo we can't do this it's the engine the, it's literally going to fall apart and you're putting our lives on the line kind of thing there's just some really cool scenes in there like that um let's get over to my score sheet and put up my uh my thoughts on this acting directing and story out of a possible two points each cinematography and score one point each uh acting uh as i said for penelope cruz it's there and for Adam Driver, and actually for everybody else, I'm giving it a full two points for acting. It's there. It's done. Uh, directing, it's competent. Uh, visually, uh, it's uh, like when it does the racing scenes and stuff, and when you're in the big cinema and you can hear the the cars going around the tracks, it's just that's what you that's what you want to sign up for. But it's got good mix. It's got good sound mix too, because it's not when they're quiet and they're just talking. It's not like Sorry, I can't hear you kind of thing. No, it's mixed well. So the technical aspects are there. Uh, if somebody were to complain a little bit about the pacing of the story and kind of like, where, well, where's this going? At times, perhaps I could buy into that. Uh, but overall, I, I think a lot of people are going to miss that metaphor that I'm talking about, about how the drivers are talking about how they're approaching the races and how they may not come home and how that's kind of mirroring how that's kind of echoing what's going on with Ferrari and his family life. I think a lot of people are going to miss that, but I didn't. So I, I, I caught, I caught it. Uh, and I was happy that I caught it because it, it was one of those moments where I was kind of like, wait a minute, is this supposed to be a metaphor? Oh, cool. I get it. I get it. I understand it. I like that. The score was serviceable. Um, it was there. Uh, I don't, but cinematography, as I said, um, 
I'm going to give that a cinematography a full point because I, uh, it was well shot, uh, especially a lot of the driving sequences, a lot of uh, aerial drone type shots that were put in there that worked very well. And when that big crash scene happens and you get to see the fallout, it's horrifying, man. And, 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 and that big crash echoes what happens with his personal life, uh, of his wife finding out about his affairs and the repercussions of it. So look out for that when you see that. Uh, let's go over the tomato meter and see what people are saying about this and see if we agree with what's going on here. 73% by critics, 72 by the audience. So, uh, yeah, we're, we're in about that wheelhouse, aren't we? Uh, let's see what people are saying. ABC News. The great Michael Mann directs Adam Driver as Enzo Ferrari, the ex-racer turned entrepreneur. The domestic scenes with his wife, Penelope Cruz, and his mistress, Chainling Woodley, slow the pacing, but the room of the tires on the road is thrilling to the max. He, again, he liked it, but he's calling it out there. He, 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 don't, he didn't like that mix of the drama side with the, with the racing. He, he would have preferred the racing. And that's what I'm trying to warn you guys about. Be, but be aware that if you if you're mindful there's similarities and i think that's the point of the movie somebody who didn't like it cnn ferrari doesn't click on all cylinders featuring a miscast adam driver as the automotive mogul no i don't agree with that i thought he was actually pretty good uh and he you can tell he spent time developing that his approach to the to the character well to the person uh, the way that he stands, the way that he wears his clothes, like, like he, you could tell he did his work. So I don't, I don't buy that. Uh, in a Michael Mann directed movie with some arresting moments that add up to less than the sum of its parts. No, I don't agree with that. Uh, for a film check chock full of passion Italian types, it's hard to believe that the film feels so cold. No, I. I I don't know if I agree with that. I don't know. A uh, lovingly told, endearing, flawed passion project from Ferrari filmmakers. From the Ferrari of filmmakers. No, I like Michael Mann's approach to this. It's not It's not as good as, say, like, Heat. But it's up there, and I would be proud to have this movie in my catalog. Uh, up there because I do like Michael Mann and I think this is a good return to form for him um, I liked Miami Vice I like Collateral and this is up there guys this is up there don't uh, just don't go into it expecting vroom vroom crash crash kind of thing that's Gran Turismo Gran Turismo is that movie if you're looking for that this is more dramatic this has more uh, scenes in there that are a slower pace that's accented with some horrific crash sequences and driving sequences and when you think about it it's telegraphed within within the movie of the crashing and the dying and the, oh my god i can't believe i just saw that happen you're actually showing that to people wow wow and uh yeah so he doesn't pull any punches this movie doesn't pull punches so know that going in too um i was pleasantly surprised so let's wrap up my movie score sheet and see where i land for ferrari we're sitting at 6.5 i would say that it's uh well it's worth the watch if you're a michael mann fan if you're a ferrari fan so that's a one um 7.5 but you know what i would own this one blu-ray but I, no, nah, it's worth a watch at least two times. So there you go. Eight out of 10 for me, for Ferrari. I liked it. Um, and I'm cognizant of the fact that at times where for the first 40 minutes, you could question yourself, well, where's this going? Why is this happening? But it comes around. It pays off all of its story um, threads. It doesn't leave anything hanging. So that's what I appreciated about it. Ferrari's thumbs up in my books, guys. Eight out of 10. Did you guys see it? Let me know in the comments below and we will talk about it. All right, guys, if you like this kind of things, um, right now, my worst list of the movie, worst of 2023 list is up on the channel right now. Go check that out. And uh, my uh, 
favorite horror movies is coming out this afternoon and then tomorrow on the first day of january uh, 2024 we'll be going over the favorites list my best movies of 2024 and maybe we'll do the most anticipated i don't know we'll see uh it's still kind of a lull period for movie news so we'll be doing stuff like this throughout the next couple of days all right guys that's it for me let me know what you thought about it in the comments below hit that thumbs up you're watching mirror domains enjoy the rest of your day and happy new year